Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just a quick video showing you um, a jailbroken iPhone 3GS on a uh, 3.1.2 firmware, 7D11 is the code for it. Um, obviously, I've, uh, I've jailbroken it with um, Black Rain RC3, uh, which is this software here. Um, it's, it's so simple, you just download it from blackrain.com and uh, you just uh, plug your iPhone or iPod touch into the uh, USB and uh, just double click it, it's simple as that, there's one button there, make it rain and then it'll reboot, such and such, yada yada yada, as one note. Um, obviously this is what will come, if you've got an iPod touch you won't get black snow, obviously you don't need to unlock it to allow it to use all carriers because obviously you can't use a carrier, but um, with, this is an iPhone 3GS that I'm using, uh, I, I chose to install Cydia once, once black rain was installed. But uh, obviously that's, that's your personal preference. Um, just just a quick video to show you what you can do. Um, you can organise your stuff into folders like your apps and your games and default shit. That's all the stuff that comes with the iPhone, um, like standard from Apple, like the clock and the calendar and stocks and shit. Um, to put stuff into folders, you need a, a uh, an app called Category, which is this app right here. Um, and then obviously you just create your folders and stuff. Um, as you can see up here, it's usually got my carrier logo there, which should be T-Mobile, but I can change it to whatever I want using this program here, this app. Uh, it's called Make It Mine. And uh, basically what you do is just open it up, type in what you want there, and then if you want what you've typed to appear there, you click Carrier. If you want to, to change there, then you click Banner. Obviously you type first, and if you want it to change back to normal, you just leave this box blank and click what you want to be blank, and it will go back to the clock, or obviously up here it'll go back to your carrier name. Um, that's another useful app. Um, you can also, uh, what else can you do? You can change your themes, obviously. You can uh, you go to Cydia. I'll quickly download a theme just to quickly show you. Um, and then you go to search, once it's loaded. That's the one. Right now we go to search and then I'm going to install, I don't know, say uh, Black Dog, that's my way. Wait for that to type in. Sorry about the little bit of a lag. I'm using DMC and it's not very quick. Um, off we go. Darkness. Um, I, I personally prefer the bottom one. You have got the other one. Which you, use. Uh, you just click install, and then it'll show you the size of the file and stuff. Uh, then just go confirm, and then just wait for it to download. As, just as a little bit of a side note, um, obviously to install themes, well most of the themes on Cydia, you have to be using uh, Winterboard, which is another app that you can get from Cydia itself. Um, and then I'll, I'll show you once it's downloaded how easy it is to change the theme. Uh, my current theme, if you was wondering, is called iComplete, which is from Cydia also. So um, if you wanted to have that theme instead of the one I'm downloading, that's up to you. So you can just browse through all of Cydia's themes, there's, there's plenty on there to choose from. Wait for this to download. And as you can see, it automatically installs itself once it's downloaded. That's it. And then once that's done, you can exit out of Cydia and then go to Winterboard and then deselect the current theme and then select your theme that you want installed. Um, obviously you've got all different options here where you can have no dot icon labels and solid state of the bar and transparent dots and that. But um, it's going to exit out of that and then it'll respring as you can see it disappears. Just give that a couple of seconds. And connect to it again. Uh, 
and there you go as you can see it's all changed you've got the battery uh, theme there and it's all, all, all black now which is our offer anyway um, as you can see the Wi-Fi symbol changed um, it's, there's loads of things that change if you've got all your icons here and stuff uh, so basically that's the end of this tutorial um, hopefully more videos coming up soon when I find something worth recording um, so